Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and today I want to be talking about the new angel signs. What am I talking about with that? If you have not checked out my other videos where I go through repeating numbers, the way angels talk to us, that will be in a playlist called Spiritual How To's here on my channel. Make sure you check it out. But as I record this, this is timeless, but this is being recorded in March of 2023. We have come out of a really nasty three years. Right? We have learned so much and we have evolved. So many of you know, we had a massive uh, collective spiritual awakening around the year 2012. And that came with a lot of bumps in the road and us trying to figure out what all this means to process this new, um, you know, sort of peaceful, energy coming in or the expanded consciousness and you know seeing what we hadn't seen before so we had very specific ways that angels and archangels would communicate with us again you can check out the repeating numbers videos now that has become very mainstream so what does that mean it means businesses are not putting repeating numbers in their phone numbers they are i literally heard of a guy who was like you know i email my clients right at 11 11 so they think it's a sign to go ahead with the deal right so people have caught on and people who are functioning from a dark place are now using that as a manipulation tactic so when people ask me how do i know if it's a sign or it's a manipulation my first response to that would be you always have to pay attention to how you feel that is why meditating, doing your spiritual work, knowing who you are, not having the self-preserving ego taking over and trying to formulate a message that may not be there, right? Making sure you're in a healthy space. Then you can depend on how you feel. When it's a manipulation, there's usually not uh, much energy around it at all. It does feel like a coincidence. And I know you guys are going to have your sayings about that, but listen, <laughs> it will feel like a coincidence or it'll feel a little like, eh, there's nothing to that. When it's an actual message from angels, and again, we're going to go into this, you'll feel an overwhelming sense of relief, peace, love, acceptance, all of that, all right? Now, as far as the repeating numbers go, people are still really hung up on 1111. Unless you are just spiritually awakening. Now, this doesn't mean that anybody's better or not better or anything like that. Um, you're not going to see 1111 as often as you would have in the beginning. That is, it's, it's really to wake people up and say, time, wakey, wakey, baby. <laughs> it's sort of that. So you'll see it more when you're just starting to awaken. You may see it through periods of your life as a reminder, like, hey, you're getting into negative, you know, expectations here. Uh, you're not being empowered. You'll get the little things like that. And yes, there could be other repeating numbers like sevens and fours and threes and all of that. But we are very different beings now. So for people who are just waking up, yes, the numbers are still going to apply. Even if you've been awakened for a while, the numbers still apply. You just may not see them as often. This is why I wanted to make this video. What are some other signs? They are not so external anymore. It's internal. There has been an awakening in your cells, right? Where now you're more receptive. If you didn't check out my video on soul codes and activation of those, I go through all of that. That's in the spiritual how-to playlist. So go check that out. Share it with everybody because here's the deal. The more people understand this, hopefully the nicer we can all get along, right? If we understand ourselves, we have more of a chance of understanding others. And hopefully we can let a few things go every once in a while, right? So <laughs> I'm talking to myself as well. But when angels are trying to give us a sign, a symbol or something like that, like I said, it's not so external. And it's going to become less and less dependent on the clairs. You hear this all the time. Clear audience, clear hearing, clear voyance, clear seeing, clear cognizance, clear knowing, clear sentience or sentience clear feeling, all of that, um, it's not going to be so categorized. There are going to be practitioners out there 
who do not like what I'm saying. Why? Because they lean heavily on those Claire's. And I'm not saying you can't, I just want to clarify, okay? <laughs> Before anybody gets mad, I'm not saying that if you are depending on that, that that's bad. It's, it's not bad. It's just they're all kind of coming together. So they're not little slices of abilities. It's an all-encompassing uh, ability, gift, however you want to see it. So instead of, oh, let me hear the message or see the message, it's all going to be happening at once. And I was talking about the soul code activations. These are functioning within you all the time. So now the way the angels and archangels are mostly communicating with people who have already opened is just through, I don't even know what to call it. It's an all-encompassing sensory experience. Think of the message coming through every cell in your body. And it doesn't necessarily turn into words or phrases or a vision. It's just there. And it stays there until you're faced with something and you'll feel the presence of your team around you. And it's almost like you are, you kind of know that you have the tool within you to now go ahead and handle this. And what's different here is that there's this flow of wisdom behind it. Before we had to kind of reach for it, we're still, you know, we're in our density bodies, of course, and that's not a bad thing. We have an ego consciousness, not a bad thing. It's self, there for self-preservation, but that can start uh, going haywire, right? And o working over time to try to protect us when it's not necessary. So we are, as, as the years go on, we're going to start realizing what a beautiful mechanism we are. And the ways we thought we had to do things, especially in a spiritual sense, we're going to broaden that understanding. Okay, so in expanded consciousness, in expanded awareness, there's no need to take all of this out here and feed it through our third dimensional ego consciousness and make it a nice, neat little story. For what? To have bragging rights? I'm not sure. But <laughs> instead, it's just out here in the field. And we're in a prepped way so that when we need to pull something from the field, we can do that with more efficiency. Now, how that is guided by your angels and archangels, it's like, I, I'm thinking of like a child that's learning to swim. Okay, the angels are there. Uh, okay, you've learned how to swim. Now it's time to dive off the diving board, <laughs> right? And so they're kind of carrying you along like you can do this, but there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment at first, okay? So this is that type of thing of reaching into the quantum field from, you know, uh, you know the ego standpoint. And yeah, you're maybe effective, but it wrecks something else in your life because the way of accessing that was clunky. Okay, <laughs> you weren't ready. You didn't let your angels kind of guide you along in doing that. But in general, if we're not taking our ego and trying to just, you know, be greedy and reach in and get whatever we can, and we're working along what our soul's path is, we're now coming into a time where if we're tuned in with our angels and not trying to overthink it. We will have, it'll be kind of instantaneous where it's like, I don't understand this. Answer's right there. Because what happened? Something unlocked. You put the ping out and said, okay, I'm ready to know. And it was already there within you. And it got activated. Okay? Let me drive this home. If you take any of this and try to make intellectual sense of it, you're missing the point. You're diminishing the message. You're blocking out the vast beauty of what is occurring. So I'm making this video, this will be an evolving process, but I'm making this video so that we're no longer on the hunt for dazzling signs from the angels. You will hear, it's funny, you know, it, it is true that angels might leave white feathers for you, pennies, you know, all of that. But we don't need that anymore. 
we don't need it. Only people who are keeping themselves in a certain state um, will keep needing little tokens of messaging, needing the proof. And especially with the repeating numbers that has become so popular. I did a repeating number video and I think it, it almost has 900. Hey, give me to a million views on that video. Will you? Thanks. <laughs> it's at like 900,000 and it was like an afterthought. Yeah. Always. If you're going to film something, always pretend like it's going to go viral or something because yeah. So anyway, <laughs> when I did that, people were so fascinated and they went running into that because I think as humans, we're always looking for the answers. I think innately we are seekers and we want to understand what are these weird things happening around us. That's why people are so fascinated by fourth dimensional beings or energy expressions, which sometimes can be mistaken as ghosts. Okay. Someone has their own anger and fear and it's almost like manifesting as its whole other creature. It almost feels like it's separate from you and like right here, but attached. Oh, you have a ghost attached to you. It, eh. I mean, listen, hey, yo, are ghosts there? I'm sure they are. I'm not one to sit here and tell you that anything is impossible, okay? Might be questionable, but <laughs> it's not impossible. But more often than not, it is either another uh, part of our soul, a fragment of our, our soul that's having another timeline experience that might be the parallels are getting, I guess it wouldn't be parallel if they're about to intersect, but you know what I'm saying? Let's not get all technical here. <laughs> they're doing this and they're kind of getting closer and closer. There can be an overlap of energy there and you're picking up on it. Or it could be in this timeline, a lot of negative energy, fears, what have you start to be like your shadow becomes your own ghost. Does that make sense? We could talk a lot about that too if you wanted. But if you are not seeing a bunch of repeating signs, and you did in the beginning of your spiritual awakening. It does not mean that you have failed. It does not mean that your spiritual awakening has stopped. It's just upgrading. Where you don't need things so obviously put in front of you. Again, you'll get them here and there. But with less frequency, you know, it's still happening is what I'm getting at here. And uh, don't go pushing. Don't, to, don't go trying to uh, sort of contrive an experience. Because as soon as you start doing that, you're interfering with the angelic flow. And the angelic flow, if you just allow it to happen, it's probably not going to be grandiose. It doesn't have to be. It's just beautiful, overwhelming love. Let me know your questions down below because this could open up into a big old topic <laughs> all right? or anything else that you have been curious about. So I want to thank you so much for your support. Again, leave your questions down below and I'll see you next time. Take care.